The Uganda Red Cross has finally ended months of speculations by forcing the Secretary General Michael Nataka to step aside as investigations continue into his alleged tax evasion and smuggling. Red Cross Board Chairman Robert Sewenya says the board acted to speed up investigations by both its seven-man committee and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Nataka is accused of, among other cases, abuse of office, causing a financial loss and conspiracy to evade taxes using Uganda Red Cross. Proved yesterday that he steps aside to allow smooth uh, investigation of both the government investigation and the probe team, which we have set up. The committee is composed of Kenya Red Cross Chief Isaiah Karanja, Stephen Omoro from the African Union, among others. We set up a probe, an independent probe, into the, these allegations, which I have just said. The allegations you have mentioned here, which we did. The probe is uh, of, of, the, of the very international stature, headed by the Vice President for Africa. Nataka's woes began after police conducted a search at his private Lunguja best residence only to recover several cars in the parking area suspected to have been smuggled into the country, each valued at 500 million shillings. Nataka is also accused of purchasing and importing assorted goods including 10 computers, 20 giant TV plasma screens, 4 refrigerators, beds, sofa sets, tables, chairs, Mirrors, all valued at 800 million shillings, using Uganda Red Cross funds, yet the goods were meant for personal use. Investigations indicate that the goods were meant for Nataka's private hotel business in Manafa, which he has since denied. It is also alleged that Nataka received donor funds totaling to 300 million shillings from Switzerland to procure land for the organization in Kasangati. But surprisingly, the land was registered in the names of Nataka and his counterpart Khalid Swimbwa of Masalaba Mwekundu Limited and not the beneficiary body of the Red Cross. Stella Nabakosa, WBS-TV.